Seems good. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Triple F in five days and four hours, indeed. Alright, let's continue, shall we? With space exploration. Are our trains okay? It's a little bit more traffic than usual. Around the depot block. Hmm. I wonder if the depots should be a bit more spaced out than this. Because when things really ramp up when we're spamming science, it might actually be an issue. We can always move them. Uh, I thought science was happening, but... But it's not. What's our bottleneck right now? Bio 4. We're still playing catch-up. Um... I haven't fudged it so that we summon a train with less than 50 stacks of this stuff, so that's why it still hasn't moved. But we'll be there soon. Bluesy Jungle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How are you? Not too bad, thanks. Not too bad. Um, feeling better in general after being sick for too long. But... Still egregiously tired, for no apparent reason. But we'll manage. Speaking of manage, how is... Uh, how's our science doing over here? Oh, that's right, we need the Arcospheres. Alright, let's check in on our ship. Should be all the way down to... Uh, hello? That's 43 Arcospheres. Did we already launch? No, we didn't. Okay. So we're going to switch off the filter here. There's probably going to be a couple of these launches where that are mismatched. Where one of them has a space probe rocket and the other one has... Uh... An Arcosphere Collector. Because we were one short, because somehow the this one over here somewhere launched prematurely on the first set. Not sure how that would have happened, but here we are. Doing great, how are you today? Fantastic. Alright, when is when's, the, when's this thing going to launch? 70%. I think we can just wait and watch this. And then find the one... Uh, the one launcher that doesn't go off. Or possibly two. Good morning slash evening. Scobix, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. It is nice and relatively cool today, at least. Uh, how are they all opening? Oh, no, there's this one. That's loud. And I bet one of these won't launch because they don't actually have an Arcosphere Collector. So we just have to find the one that doesn't launch. Fantastic. Okay. Can we... I guess if I... Deconstruct planner the requester chests. Except for this one over here. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, those are Argospheres. 
except for this one over here, then the bots should bring the last Arcosphere Blacter. Looks so good, thank you. I try. Alright, there goes the last one. So far we have uh, 45 Arcospheres, we're probably not getting another one. We are post getting 50 Arcospheres from one from 500 launches. Unfortunately. And that's it. I guess we didn't get an Arcosphere. Not surprising. Why is this bot hovering? Because there's extra lighted pylons in here? Bruh. Why are you like this? Shouldn't there be, like, yeah, several of them over here as well? What the hell? Alright, go ahead and delete that as well. Uh, and you better believe the last thing we're deleting is the media defenses, or at least several of them. All right, so we're going to be heading back to Hagen Orbit, which, I, if I recall, is Moon Orbit 1180. And the ground is Moon 1179. Or it could be the other way around. No, nope, Moon Orbit 1180. And Direct Dinesten... Direct Dinesten? What? Direct... Destination is going to be Foenestra, and we'll change to Hagen Orbit once we get there. And we really should bring more bots for this. Uh, we probably have some storage chests in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? Where are they? Yeah, I probably have a couple of storage chests here just to simplify that whole issue. Anything that the requests don't exist for goes in that. Magnetic canisters for some reason. Did we kidnap some bots or what? Most hurtful SE moment ever sad pain sphere oh is this the was this the media this is this is the media wasn't it that reminds me did we even bring the archospheres back in it is i can't look no no please please have mercy I hope the uh, I hope the changes with like forced construction with landfill and stuff like that they're going to also let us remove all of this floor underneath here with one order. Uh, I, I forget if the triple F mentioned that already. Sounds like you almost cried. I I'm screaming internally. The damage is lethal. Okay, I guess... Uh, can we just pick up the stuff that's not floor so that we can order the rest of this and not have to wait for it? There we go. And we'll remove... most of the media defenses. And 
I guess we'll check back in on that. What should we do in the meantime? What's this flashing? Not enough LTN trains? No train to support transport. Uh, okay, it looks like it's fluid wagons. Not enough fluid wagons in orbit. I see a fluid wagon sitting. No, no it isn't. This one also has a job already. This one also has a job already. This one also has a job already. Okay, we need more fluid wagons in the LTN system. Um, you know what? It's probably kind of easier to make this downstairs because we've got this handy thing. Just swap in some space fluid wagons. Insert the equipment with the Mexican wave trick in order to put the big things in first so that there'll be room for everything. And why are we still short on power packs over here? Well, there's practically infinite discharged ones. I guess we'll just add another one of these over here. There we go. How fast are these? Two per minute. I, I don't I don't know where this continuous consumption of charged packs from the mall is coming from though. We're not using the construction train that much. It's very strange. I guess this train is using them. But not that often, surely. Well, in any case, that'll do for now. Uh, we're going to send you to LTN Depot, but first up the elevator. And that'll sort itself out. Did we really? No? I was going to say that train looked a bit slow. Maybe we didn't give it equipment. Is it just not charged yet? It's not charged. That's why. Alright, let's make another three. Since the situation... Well, how about another one? See how it goes. The situation looks pretty dire with the fluids for the moment. But it could be just that we're not meeting that critical mass. Oops. And I guess we really will have to wait a bit for some charged packs this time. If this is four per minute, that's actually pretty bad. Why don't we borrow... one of these stops, and then go up the elevator. Just wait for inactivity. I forgot to check if the uh, equipment was in properly. Yes. And... Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Look how much slower they are without the... Uh, without the additional electric engines. Fantastic. Oh, was that it? Of course it is. They can insert 12 at a time. All right. What else? I'm quite enjoying the simplification and beautification of old builds getting converted to use way fewer machines and less space. 
and arguably be a bit prettier. Uh, this one's not going to change, is it? We can always put bigger modules in it, but the biochemical facility is basically the only option. Uh, what's the fluid flow like? Oh. 6,000 cosmic water per second. Okay, that's not like some frame limit thing. That is the math. I, I doubt if the... I doubt if the cosmic water is going to flow into this fast enough. Wait, what? Oh, that's per hour? Per minute? Never mind. Uh, let's see. Per second. 25, 250, 50. That's really no big deal. Yeah, I think this one's just a matter of fitting as many machines as we can, and even with tier 9 modules, the fluid flow should be pretty trivial. Are there any builds that are way overdue to be updated, causing us some issues? I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of these that are still using tier 3 modules, but... Okay, this one could surely be a little bit simplified. It's not really any urgency to it, though. How are we doing for Vitima Lunch? Still totally saturated? That's actually kind of shocking since we've been... We haven't had spaceships moving a whole lot for a while now. And to think we're still saturated on the Vitima Lunch, that's actually very encouraging. Oh. What is all this? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I forgot this had LTN requests as well. Uh, should probably head over there. We disallowed trains from leaving when they come here to drop off uh, drop off scrap from the old sh uh, vanilla schedule. But I didn't realize LTN trains would still be coming here. Whoa, don't... Don't pick that up. I, I said don't pick that up, actually. Okay, you're LTN, so you can leave. You're LTN, so you can leave. You're... No, you're also LTN. I think all of these are going to be LTN. Yep. It removed the green wiring? Uh, that won't be a problem. We're finishing up with this block. We're getting ready to remove it. And I already removed the the request. Where are you going? Oh, there's a... No. There is not another one next door. Wait, why are we still no pathing? There we go. I think the rest are LTN. I mean, I guess I could always have just sent them to the other scrap processor, but... What an unusual build. Philip B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you don't... Why? No. What? 
Why are you going there? I not that I mind. But... What? Why are they not waiting till the scrap is emptied? Huh? Did I change the name of this station? No? I'm so confused. But as long as they're not, like, taking that back to the depot or something... It's fine, I suppose. You're gonna wait till you're empty, right? Right. Okay, good. Cool. Um, so the yellow lights should dis... Is it because this has a train limit of zero? For some reason? It's because it had a wire connection to it with set train limit and then I disconnected the wire. And for some reason this stays on. So the train would come here with the temp stop and then go to the nearest station that has a train limit greater than zero with this name. Therefore, it would go way over to the northwest. Yellow light should disappear as soon as this gets into the depot. And I'll confirm we've got no more... no more trains coming. There we go. Alright, so it shouldn't be too much longer. I guess we could speed this up. Do I have a beacon too? Not on my person. Let's just... Hayaku Hayaku. Machnil bitte. Rouse Rouse. Oops. And that should churn through it pretty quickly. There might be some belt bottlenecks for the scrap or something. 114 per second. Yeah, this is only 90 per second. So we should be input belt bottlenecked, but there's a lot... There's a lot of scrap already on the inputs of the machines. Train limit? Yeah, it was train limit. Good catch. Welcome in, Dylan. Philip B. Lee Puff. Hope you're doing well today. Um, and I guess as soon as this stops running, we're going to have to change the limits to get trains to get rid of this stuff. Okay. What's all this then? Wow. Double purple belt pushing from the back to the front isn't really cutting it here. Hmm. Let's see. How many stacks are in here before the next train gets in? It's going to be like seven. Okay, more like nine, but still. Um, do we absolutely have to... This doesn't allow short trains already. This is in range of the mall, right? It's in range of the construction train. Um, I think we should just... Redesign this part. So instead of doing the push from the back to the front thing, uh, we're basically doing like a 4 to 2 balancer. For which all we need is each of these splitters goes to each of these bulk rail loaders. The only trouble is they have to crisscross each other. Oh, 
Where are my undergrounds at? Mm, can I make it look a bit more symmetrical-ish? Not quite like that. I guess... I guess this will have to do. Just like that. I can live with it. Oh, is this already stopped? Nice. And where the heck is our rare metal build? Here we go. And this goes here, and this becomes unlimited. Cool. Why are we not placing the last bit of... I think I see the answer. The front cargo wagon doesn't quite reach here. Actually, I would think it does. That's weird. Alright, and because we know the construction train's gonna have some split stacks... Uh, maybe not. Maybe we don't have to empty it right now. Alright, cool. That should... That should be much quicker for loading the trains. I could also just put a secondary loading stop here. Alright. Ready to empty this stuff out? Maybe I should move the uh, scrap processing. Oh, this has still got tier 3 modules in it. Well, we'll deal with that later, I think. Loading's a bit slow. But uh, so is this, right? Kinda slow. Yeah, should be fine. Alright, can we please get rid of the last of these items? And I want to make sure the last of the fluid is drained out as well. Actually, same goes for the, uh, same goes for the solids, because the bulk rail loaders can hold on to some items that are not accounted for. Do we not have a fluid wagon coming? Apparently not. Oh, they... no. Okay, if there's rare metals in here, I'm going to be upset. There are... God damn it. Did you already leave? No. No, you're waiting right here. Miss... Missy, welcome in. I'm liking your city block design. Thank you. I like it quite a lot myself. Although, I do have one... Deep, deep regret with this uh, with this design. If I just made the roundabouts slightly bigger, we could have fit the huge storage tanks two tiles away from the uh, the rail that comes straight off the roundabout. 
and we could have had pumps directly into huge tanks uh, on the opposite side of the rail from where we do most of the build. Other than that, quite happy with it. This is uh, definitely the best I've done in terms of density of train stations in a relatively small block. We could do up to eight with a pretty standard layout. Although, as well, uh, when it comes to some of the larger buildings in space, uh, particularly the really big ones where we do like three columns is the best we can do on one side. Uh, that also kind of makes me wish I'd made them a little bit bigger. But as for the actual layout, I, I like it a lot. 55, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I'm not going to wait any longer to save 16k heavy oil. Stuff that doesn't require going to a an exotic planet is incredibly cheap. Now you know for next time? Yeah. Another thing I'd definitely do different... Uh, I should make a list. Maybe I'd make a video or something. Uh... Other things I would do different for another playthrough is... Uh, I would definitely, as soon as possible, uh, design things to be built for Tier 9 modules. So I don't have to rebuild the shape of them, just upgrade the belts and modules. Uh, that's not always possible because, for example, you have to go through an awful lot of uh, I think bioscience? Let, let me check. Advanced... Well, hold on. Research. Advanced chem plant requires bioscience pack 2. So you have to do an awful lot of builds with chemical plants before, before you can unlock the advanced chemical plant. And to a lesser degree, the same is true of the advanced uh, assembly machine. But... I mean, I could have done what we did for some of the science builds, for example, where we designed this and then made room for it with the weaker machines. Um, of course, there are things that I don't anticipate that I decide I want to change later on sometimes, but overall, I could have saved a lot of late game... A lot of late game work. Redesigning blocks that we built ages ago. I'd also uh, probably look for really tiny planets or moons for earlier game uh, bases. Just because it's a thousand times easier to get on and off the uh, surface, that's all. Less energy, less fuel, less whatever it is you need uh, to get on and off planet. Especially with K two, I, I, I hope they, I hope they've changed it or will change it soon. But the uh, the size of the builds that you need to do to support liquid rocket fuel for cargo rockets uh, in this version, at least, is pretty obscene. Are we doing okay for Iridium? Still? Somehow? Hmm. I guess it remains to be seen. Wow, this is already saturated. So this flow of cables right here is while we're making solenoids still. That's pretty good. What should we refactor today? Are we still using this? I don't think so. 
No, this is the copper core fragment processing. Directly next to the spaceship drop-off. So let's go empty this out. Should be pretty empty already. Um, if that's not full... Well, no, I was going to say... If that's not full, then it should put everything into the train. Whoa. Okay. Which one just left the depot? This one? That's not it. I guess I should just wait till it gets here. To make sure it takes the last of the, uh... Four francs. And we'll do the same thing over here. Same thing over here. That's the last station. We never put some nice floor on this thing, so it's searing into my retinas. Why is it taking so long? I guess we need to bump the priority up the up above the usual active provider priority, potentially. Oh, now I have copper core frags. Uh, I guess I'll do go dump them over here. We need more inventory space. Spooder is closer than I expected. Nice. Good Spooder. It's putting it in the logistic trash slots, isn't it? A uh, bunch of tier 3 modules I won't be needing. And I guess we'll just send all this back to the mall. It's an awful lot of stuff. All right. Forget to remove the old power poles. Or I guess it's just the wind turbines. One less build just sitting idle until eternity. Don't step on the track. Oops. And don't forget this one. All right, nice and clean. Who's next? Oh, I still have a lot of old stuff to dismantle down this way. Um, I was going to send those core frags. Oh, I guess they're already gone now. Might need the decon train to give us a hand here. Old Vitamelange core frags. Let's remove the stone. And you know what? There's too many of these to... Babysit. That is one core fragment. I guess I'll just pick those up. Get the train to remove that. And what do we 
have here would honestly let's just burn it Do we not have a train coming? I suppose I queued up a few things to be removed. It's going to be a lot of sand here to get rid of. Uh, maybe I'll make a temp stop to make an active provider. To get rid of the sand. Might have to remove some stuff first. No, that'll work. Oh, that's not even one stack. That's why the train's not coming. This one's empty. Forgot to bring the decon train. Puck over here, please. My games always end up with train jams. Uh... So do mine, although I do know how to fix them. Signals are very... They seem very difficult at first. Once they click, they click. Solovix, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. But really, you just have to break it down into sectors that the trains are allowed or not allowed to go this or that direction into. And chain signals mean the trains aren't allowed to stop in that sector. That's all there is to it. So you'll note the almost the only type of train signal I use is chain signal. Uh, the regular signal is the exception to the rule. This signal here means the train is allowed to stop in this sector. And this one here means the train is allowed to stop going down this way. Everything else, no stopping here, basically. If you put chain signals uh, only in like this area, for example, though, they will make an exception just for logistic, well, just for train stops is what I meant to say. Uh, they will stop where there are chain signals if it's explicitly for, for stopping at a train stop. Um, and as complicated as this may look, really all it is is a bunch of different sectors. No two trains are allowed to be in any one sector at the same time. Uh, and then you just break it down into, you're allowed to go through this way, you're allowed to go through this way. Um, let's pick all this up. Oh, we already cleared out that one. I was going to say, I thought I put the decon train to the south. So your trains go both ways, yes, except for on the straight rails. Uh, on the straight rails, it's always left-hand drive. On the roundabouts, they're allowed to go both directions. So we can take... Uh, it, it means we can make a station for a pickup or drop-off very, very easily with minimal space that just comes off the roundabout. So if the train wants to go back this way, it'll have to go around like this. Uh, and if it wants to go this way, it'll just go up through there. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure if you make straight rails where the trains can go both ways with no exceptions, you're, uh, you're probably always going to get jams. I, I don't think there's a way around that. Could be wrong. Let's 
This is already empty. Is my are my bags full again? They are. Mm, I can just go down here to drop off some vitamin lunch. Let's empty our bags a bit. To be fair, I think I make my trains too big. Always like eight cars. There's no too big or too small. It depends on... There are, there are advantages and disadvantages. And that's true of... That's true of every different way you can do things in Factorio. I mean, there are some objectively worse ways to do things, like... I don't know have a really bad machine ratio or something, like where you have three times more machines than you need to support the next step, and those output products aren't going anywhere else. But for the most part, it's all trade-offs. Um, core frags go down here. And Vitamelange itself... Why is there nothing but stone in here? Uh, well, there's nothing but Vitamelange on this side. What the hell? What? The, what? Can't say I was expecting that. Um. So there's no Vitamelange coming down to this block with the direct belting because there's none on the left side. It's all going up here, but the output is saturated. Uh, if everything stopped because the output is saturated, I don't think we're too worried. Still, wasn't expecting that. I still can't get rid of my Vitam launch. Wow. What a good problem to have. It's all like this. Okay, not the one on the left. That would have been weird. Boop. I, I, I said boop. And let's head back, watching out for trains. I think I need to get away from LTN. Why is that? Do I not have a... Oh, I don't have rail for this right now. Probably because it's in the decon train. Why is there so little? Well, regardless... Did I put some in here? I did. And my train stops. Well, we can borrow this one. I'm going to make this a super high priority pickup. Ascend. And grab all these machines first. I guess pick up the belts as well. Splitter. That's the wrong belt. Not anymore, it's not. And... Put into both sides equally, or at least as close as we can get. Long trains only. How much is in here? You know what? Why didn't I just, like, do this to begin with? Even Distro just pops it straight in. 
On the other hand, we can take advantage of the belts that we've already put here. What are my butts doing? God damn it. Go park your little self over here. We'll have to rebalance that after a train or two. Get rid of all this regretty spaghetti. Feels nice. Bring that sand back. Rebalance these two. Much is here. About another train load. And another two... Oh, wait, no. Like 24k. Hey, T-Hack, should I remove radars on my mine planet to improve UPS? I haven't really uh, checked for myself how much of an impact that makes, actually. So I don't know. I guess you could run an experiment. This is all empty already. Fantastic. How much more sand is here? A little bit. Let's see if I can even distro without changing the settings at this distance. Should be able to. This bit. Especially if I turn on the exoskeleton legs, which I tried to do while carrying the stuff, and it didn't work out. Bruh. Nope. <laughs> Captain True, welcome in. Rocket Tom. Ca uh, G'day, Hex. Vit output saturated. We live in interesting times. Indeed, indeed. And that actually is while we're making... Uh, Deep Space Science 4 is the really weird thing. Why hasn't it been delivered yet? Oh. Apparently we broke this at some point. Oh, it was probably because it was like connected via a belt or something. No? When we updated it. Well, there it goes in any case. The science will resume shortly. Rip. It does take a moment to load even a single... Well, I guess it takes the same amount of time to load stack size 200 items on a train. Regardless of the number of cargo wagons. Give me that sand. Remember when stone and sand was, like, one of our biggest problems? That was... those were interesting times. Alright, let's have a train pick up what's left of this. And take it god knows where. And you know what? If I move the uh, Vitalic Acid build, or just put rail over here... We do have a space elevator here. I don't know, there's a bunch of these blocks I feel like we could just get rid of. 
so taking the time to carefully trim them feels like a waste. Let's head on down this way. Was the stone crisis just after you started building on Hagen? More or less, yeah. Um, I wouldn't say just after we started building, but, you know, once the finite resources for stones started drying up, uh, it was a bit sketchier. I think the stone on Hagen itself was also relative, uh, relatively rare as well. Though maybe not that Maybe not as bad as that sounds. Oh, vulcanite blocks. And a tiny amount of methane. Methane's actually kind of precious, so... Well, I wouldn't quite say precious, but... We're not able to keep up with it... Just by processing Vitamelange, which is the only infinite source. So I don't exactly want to completely waste it. So we'll... Allow LTN to come pick up what's left of this, if possible. Mad Dame Salsa, thank you so much for the 16 months. Very much appreciated, thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Fantastic indeed. And thank you for all the well wishes. Uh, when I'm sick or something on the Discord. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot to do the notification. Oops. Okay. No, do not open that right now. Why is Steam open? Get out of here. Okay. Let's pick all this off the belts. End up with a lot of junk in our pockets. Um, Spice and Extract is exported to the rail network, so we can probably do this to get rid of it. Don't care about light oil. Certainly don't care about this. How am I going to get rid of these uh, vulcanite blocks? Oh, that's a lot of random Vitamelange stuff as well. Can I fit this in my pockets? Maybe. Would K2 be a good starting place for an overhaul mod? Um, I guess so. I've never played it to completion by itself. My friend and I long, long ago got somewhat deep into it, but that was with a bunch of other mods as well, so it's kind of hard for me to judge it. Give me all this Vitamelange crap. I'm going to go drop it off in the other blocks. That doesn't really help, does it? Why is there a train coming here now? No, 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 no. It's too late. Uh, okay, can I get you to take... Can I get you to take these somewhere? This is fine. This is fine. Might just do base game with some little mod sprinkles, indeed. Depending on how you underestimate things, uh, the base game can take some take a while on the first playthrough. Not to mention you're actually figuring things out for the first time, of course. This build obviously doesn't need to take up half a block. Actually, how fast is this? 
Not that fast. We've left plenty of room for expansion. That's fine, I guess. Anyway, as soon as that train gets back to the depot, that light stops going yellow. Cool. We know for a fact that we don't have some other LTN train on the way. I should go drop this stuff off. Evidently, I need more exoskeleton legs. That's a good start. Might be a little hard to drop off the Vitamelange itself at this rate. Over on the west and side, there should be more throughput, more consistent consumption. Um, that's not really working. How about this? Okay, that goes in there. Nuggets go in here. And Bloom goes in here. Why is Shift C not getting rid of? Oops. Not getting rid of this. I, I don't understand. Whatever. It's fine. Back to where we're deconstructing. What's the mod that allows you to build blueprints in-game editor extensions? You'll want to go into mod settings, uh, and there's a testing lab setting under that. Hmm, this has not caused trains to come and pick this stuff up. I guess we'll... jeez. I guess we'll pick that up ourselves. No wonder I've been procrastinating this deconstruct for so long. That's the downside of having a decent amount of storage. You know what? I, I can't care enough about the methane right now. is full. I guess just send this train back. Get it emptied. Comes with vanilla? What do you mean? Hello, Larius. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That got rid of most of it. And Bloom goes in here. Uh, and that's it for now. Cool, cool, cool. I'll be happy to see the back of the old Vitam Lunge builds. Uh, this is not one of our obsolete Vitam Lunge builds. This is... How fast is this? 614 per second. 196 extract per second. Uh, the belts can do 360. Yeah, I don't think I don't think this needs changing. I wouldn't mind moving it though. I'll just put some rail over here. Hold on, what's the input? It's spice, right? Yeah.
Do I have some rail? I have a little bit of rail. Don't know if it's enough for this. Should be. All right, so we'll probably leave that there indefinitely, perhaps. Do I need to change settings on LTN as well, like the stop timeout, delivery timeout? Yeah, I thoroughly recommend. Uh, your mileage may vary on what good settings are for LTN, but I really can't strongly recommend. Uh, can't rec recommend strongly enough. Go and look at the LTN settings, because there's some combinations of defaults in there that I consider to. Oops, frankly, I consider to be a trap going to cause things to happen like if your trains have no path to a station and a delivery doesn't happen for 10 minutes LTN will just like assume that that train was destroyed or something and send another one and another one and another one um I like to set the defaults on the provide threshold and uh, request threshold so high so that they basically don't exist unless I put something in manually. It also lets me have, uh, because of the scale of the numbers that we use for fluids and for solids, we can basically use uh, provide stack threshold as the threshold for solids and just the regular threshold as the threshold for fluids. I find that pretty handy. The timeout is my favorite. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's some there's some really nasty defaults in there. It if it, it feels like uh it feels like a sinister trap for people who don't want to RTFM or something. Not that there's actually a manual that I know of. Um but beyond that, the main thing, uh, the, the, the main thing you just have to wrap your head around with LTN for the requests and providing, uh, for the signals for providing and requesters, uh, it might seem counterintuitive that you put a negative number to represent a request, but all you're doing is when you, when you do a provider station, all you have to do is connect the wire up uh, to tell LTN what's in here, right? So that's a positive signal because of how signals work uh, in Factorio. Just read read contents of a container. If a positive signal means we're offering something, a negative signal means we're requesting it. Uh, LTN always wants to push whatever the signal is towards zero. Uh, and the provide and request thresholds are just... How far off zero does it have to be to to trigger a scheduled delivery? It creates giant riddles where you wonder how this ever happened. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of those things that happen... In a sense, I don't think they're the user's fault. Like, if you were to make what I would think would be reasonable assumptions about the default settings without taking the time to look at them, uh, you will find yourself in trouble and wonder what on earth is going on. This is still pretty empty, right? Actually, since we're already here, why don't we pick this up? Hey, we did get rid of that methane.
LTN Combinator is a good mod to help. I imagine that's true. I did try to use LTN... Uh, what's it called? I think I still have the mod... No, did I disable it? LTN Manager, that's it. I tried to use LTN Manager, but it caused a crash. So I haven't touched it since. Running out of space over here. I guess I'll run back already. Just dump what's already being carried. Welcome in Midden, Prez. Hope you're doing well today. The only really tricky thing is you have mixed stations or you read Logi Network contents which get manipulated by requester chests. Yeah, you can you can absolutely hook up LTN to a to a robot network. Oh, that's already saturated. Um I wonder Shift C isn't getting rid of the bloom. What am I supposed to do with this? Here we go. That's how I ended up with like 150,000 mirrors in the mall. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yeah, little mistakes can lead to big problems where automation is involved. Oh, you're trying to get back into the train, aren't you? Yeah. Why don't I just take this train over here. It'll be a little bit easier, and the bot will follow. I accidentally named my train station wrong, and I got copper plate into iron belts. Uh, with LTN? I mean, that's the thing that would happen with vanilla schedules, but... If there's any ambiguity, LTN makes temp stops. Without, okay. Alright. Shift C. Give me the more... Give me more of the green stuff. And... That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Can we please get rid of the bloom? Yes, we can. I don't know why the last two stacks of spice and extract stay in my pockets. With shift C. It's not like I'm requesting them. Well, in any case. Oh, here come the bots. Boop. And boop. Okay. Back to the decon. Well, I guess I could have just clicked here. Might be the even distro settings. Hmm. 
Not that I can see. Heyo, Ben Wu, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Oh, we already cleared this. Nice. Uh, I feel like clearing out one of the builds just to the north, that, that was a lot easier. Oh, we're still burning the wood. I think that's why I came down. It's taking a bit longer than I expected. Okay, a lot longer than I expected. Thanks, doing fine. How you been? Not too bad, thanks. Not too bad. I don't suppose we can... I don't suppose we can have a train get rid of this stuff. Where does wood even go? Oh, it does go as a priority to make green circuits. Except, isn't that supposed to stay balanced? We're assuming long trains only, as in always full. Where's the one that uses wood? This one. Oh, it's already happening. You're already bringing a full train load of wood. Uh, just pick it up. Just pick it up. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We can still get rid of the stone this way, though. That feels very weird. Inventory being shunted to the left of the ute. How did I turn that into a lighted pylon? Provide stack threshold one. Maybe I had it in my in my hand. There we go. Maybe we'll just take this stuff back to the mall. Oh, we've still got bots coming back to us. Oh good. That's... that's fine. Okay, are all the bots inside at least? Uh, debug? If they're off screen, I don't think it shows the line after a point. Uh, that'll be a little bit easier. Oh, I left a bunch of my stuff in here as well. That wood is still burning. Okay. Why did we do why did we build the sand and stone scrapping antimatter build here? Was it because there was a lot of stone? as a byproduct from Vitamelange. How much stone does this produce? Oh, 17 per second. More than I expected. Quite a bit more than I expected, actually. Guess I'll drop off this. Whoa, careful. The easy way. We'll deal with that some other day. Or never. How many modules do we have right now? No more modules upstairs. 19 and 7. Tier 9 modules last hour. 15 speeds and nothing else. 10 hours, 70 prods, 88 efficiencies, and 73 speeds. 
surprisingly balanced. 290, 417, 175. At about one every 10 minutes for each of them overall, but that starts 30 hours ago. Still, over the last 10 hours, it looks about the same. All right. Do I need this many modules in my personal inventory? Perhaps not. Especially not efficiencies. Oyo, Ninja Dogs, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Still recharging. Oh, it's just this one. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, maybe we should pivot to do something else for a little bit. I'd love to do another block redesign. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, centrifuges that are bigger than this. So we haven't redesigned this since we had tier 3 modules. That's a beautiful sight. Remember when Iridite was so, so precious? Not anymore. That's a lot of furnaces. Not all of them are running, though. There we go. What should we... Oh, there's a whole lot of other stuff I've been... Hello. Next train load of automation tech cards, and we can get rid of this. But I guess we can already get rid of this, except for the output station. Maybe I'll send the Spidertron this time. Where, where's the remote? does have spy uh, it does have construction bots in it right no apparently not construction robot civil play and i don't know why trash unrequested items i don't know why We've got requests for advanced additional electric engines or whatever. I think it just didn't get caught by the trash unrequested for some reason. The mod doesn't recognize it. Um, I, I, I don't seem to have a way to fix it remotely easily, so let's just ignore it for the moment. You know what, a squad of construction spiders for deconstruction would probably be a bit easier in some cases. What's going on here? I think we need another train to move Vitamelange upstairs. Oh. I've got this problem again. Uh... In any case, if it got this bad, I'd like to copy the schedule. And 
and it's this one. Yes. Where's the mall? And do you already have some fuel and stuff? Fantastic. All right, go get them. And where did I put it? You're going to have to get out of the way. And we should set some LTN train limits on these things. Uh, maybe two is fine for each. Depends on the traffic around the place. Hopefully that's enough to prevent... traffic jams... without impeding the flow. Here comes the next one, and they're blocked. How many trains are trying to park here? Still four. And the other one should be coming down the elevator again soon. That's not it. Wait, yes it is. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like that's going to sort itself out. Maybe? Which train is trying to get there? No, don't go in that way. You could have gone down here. Uh, it seems like the trains don't consider other trains that are in the way as being something to path around. It's just assumed that they'll move. And there's still three trains trying to come in here. Wait, why are there three if I set the train limit down to two and we saw that there were two before? I guess I could make it so that as long as this part's empty, that signal is open. So that we could at least have the next train parked here. I don't know, it might end up mixing the trains. Which probably wouldn't matter, but I don't trust it. In any case, the traffic jam seems to have subsided. How low on stuff are we up here? Not too terribly. Is it even possible to compete SE without mods like LTN? Oh, it's possible. It's just a uh, self-inflicted torment. There's that 
occasional momentary out of fuel signal that we see sometimes. Not sure why. Science is going brr. Looks like we're going to have mining prod 16 pretty soon. Very good. We'll see where it breaks next. Are you good to go? You've got your bots spread out pretty haphazardly, but other than that, sure. And let's go back to deconning this stuff. Until something more pressing jumps out at us. So what are we missing here? Pressure vessels, uh, dynamic emitters, and speed eights. Beryllium plate, it's not the bottleneck I was expecting. But there's plenty of ingots here. There's loads of beryllium. What's going on? Beryllium, there's nothing here. We are requesting it. There's no beryllium here. I haven't named this station yet, not that that matters, functionally. Um, beryllium? Where's our block for taking ingots upstairs? Here it is. I haven't tagged it yet. What's your problem? You're still set on manual. I must have been in the middle of doing this and got distracted somehow. Uh, so yeah, you should probably take those upstairs. We've got all the requests here. I think so. Why was it on manual? Wait, 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 where is it? I should take a closer look at this train. It's missing some batteries. Well, we can fix that. Do I have some on hand still? I do. Why is there a signal here? Uh, anyway, I'm going to catch it when it comes back down. How much cargo space does a train wagon take? Like a comparable chest. Uh, for the vanilla wagons, it's uh, 40 stacks, less than one chest. For the space space locomotives, that mod, uh, the space cargo wagons are 50. Morgan Third, welcome in. I wish they let you make ships earlier and larger in SE. I really wanted to make a train truck before infinite. Yeah, true. I meant on the spaceship. How much cargo space does a train wagon make? Take. Train wagon. I'm not sure if I understand. Alright, so we're not going to let the train leave until we give it batteries. Container stress? Oh, um, I think you can kind of cheat with the... Well, last I checked, last I remember, I think you can kind of cheat container stress with the cargo wagons. I could be wrong. Except they take up a lot of space, of course. Yeah, if you transport the whole train by a ship. Um, I don't think it's terribly practical, from what I remember. I kind of like this traffic situation. But that train should have more acceleration. It doesn't have batteries right now. Oh boy. 
Okay, why do you change your path? Because the other train was going through that intersection, I guess? Probably. There we go. So now it'll be able to sprint, basically. But, it, I mean, it, it should never reach a zero charge once it's doing its regular route. doop a doop We have Mining Prod 16. Very nice. That does mean the core drills spit out more stuff as well. Which means we can more, get more stuff by going less far. Okay. I feel like I should be double checking that all this works. I'm sure I thought I did that before. Why was that train on manual? It must have been the batteries. Did these trains have the batteries? They do. They do. I think the new ones, when we make a new train and we use the Mexican wave thing to put batteries in the trains, uh, I think it's always one, two, three, four, five uh, big portable solars and then a straight line of batteries. There's our aeroframe bulkheads. We already had those, actually. Where's our ingots? There we go. There we go. Still a little bit slow relative to the stack size of beryllium plate. We could always make another one. This is perfectly modular. And 100 stacks. Light goes yellow. Hopefully the first place it's going is lattice pressure vessels. Light goes yellow. Light goes... Yep, yeah, I set it to 110 stacks because of the belt here. There we go. That should be it. Cool, cool, cool. Lattice pressure vessels. Alright. What else is broken in this place? These have no beacons or modules of any kind. That might take a while. Let's hoover up the last of this iron over here. The side of it bothers me. Can't remember exactly where the beacons normally fit. Apparently we don't have a regular wide area beacon Module insert plan over here. Not all of these need any modules. I think I broke the wiring, though. I definitely broke the wiring, though. There we go. Are any of these other ones empty? Let's 
still connected to something. What? Red wire, please. This one's also empty. As is this one. You're also empty. Guess that'll do. How much have we got to get rid of here? I can't mouse over it to find out. Uh, expected resources. Mr. Ozzy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 1.2 million. Is that from the one drill? Bruh. Okay. What's this flashing? We don't have enough LTN trains? We still don't have enough fluid wagons upstairs. Let's make another one or two. And insert equipment. Oh, do you have enough fuel? It's a start. Uh, head on upstairs first, please. Hello, use mods? Yes, many mods. Mods as far as the eye can see. And further. Maybe we need some more of these. Why don't I move this silly thing? It's not like we'll ever get killed. Wait, can I place that? Why can't I place the shelter? What? What? It's not the floor, is it? Do I have to manually place it? Each force can only have one shelter per surface. I know that much, but... Apparently it's verboten to place it with bots. Oh, and I forgot to tag this. Uh, iron... Iron, copper, beryllium... Okay, let's just... I'm just gonna be lazy and tag this with one type of ingot. To show that this is where we send ingots upstairs. Manually place it to link it to you. Okay. Tried to play with mods too, but it crashed. Which mods? Uh, I thought we were trying to make fluid wagons in any case, but apparently we just ran out of space cargo wagons. There's no heat shielding in the mall. That seems very strange. Two point five k is exactly one train load, right? Oh, there's this. Heat shielding right here. What are the bots doing? I guess they're putting it all over here? Who knows? Squirrel chasing stream, indeed. But placing a shelter means insta suicide teleporting. Nice. Razdol Bajster, welcome in. Don't think we need this right now. 
Um, do we have some fuel? We have enough to get up to the depot in any case. Oh, there's probably a lot of, uh... There's probably a lot of demand that we're catching up on for deliveries of liquid, uh, of fluid because of antimatter as well. Because we broke it a while ago. So we probably shouldn't go too overboard adding trains at the moment. Because we have to park them somewhere. Wop, 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 wop. Already at 5% for the next mining productivity. Nice soon. Is this thing actually... Nope. Not even close to empty. Uh, what else was I doing? Alzheimer's disease? Apparently. There's a bunch of mineral water here that we haven't tapped, and we do have a ridiculous throughput of mineral water. I don't exactly want to move this stuff to build it, though. Oh, wait, we're deconstructing this block anyway. Cool. Why don't we tap that? I'm sure it'll disappear in, like, a few hours or something. Oops. Just leave that there for now. Do I want to go pick up any of this stuff? We can just send it back to the mall. We're still burning that wood. There's not that much left of it. We can just pick it up. Wait here for inactivity... And then, just in case, do another lap after you get emptied. Um, are the bots gonna... gonna do their thing? Apparently not. But, okay. I guess we'll give them a little break. Is this gone? Uh, basically, yes. Wait till the trains get rid of the last of that. Let's go back to the mall. Not before I pick these up. Oh. I thought we doubled the, uh... the power pack recharging at all of these. Apparently I missed one. We just have to move the RoboPort over here. And I need the construction train to visit. We need six uh, space train battery charging stations. Which I don't know if we're carrying right now. We are. Convenient. Alright, wait for passenger.
Oh no, I got the mute button backward. Bless you. Sorry about that. And thank you, Inri, Inri. Oh god, there's so much of it. Well, let's just click it now so we don't have to remember it later. Oh, there's like no uranium left here. Alright, so that needs deletion. Spidertron would be the best candidate. Spidertron... Spidertron has no RoboPort. Good job. It's the only way to be uh, sure. Zedius, delete some stuff. No worries, here we go. Uh, where's the nuke? What should we delete? This looks a bit scant. Uh, there's a few media defense installations over here. Let's get them. Fantastic. No more media defenses. At all on this planet, as far as I know. Oh, we already made a backup of this, but I'm kind of sad to see a media hit the uh, hit the names over here. No audio. In game and alert. Oh, I forgot to drag the volume back up. Ages ago, actually, that was when we were launching fifty Arcospheres at a time. Arcosphere collectors. My bad. Yeah, it technically wasn't no audio. It was just very quiet. That long ago? Yeah, my bad. Ouch! What the fuck? Okay, that was a spider. One moment. My roommate says hello. Uh, <laughs> Eatry Cottontail, welcome in. Sorry for the jump I scare. We take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Nuke for the spider. It's the only way to be sure. Uh huh. All right, where are we nuking? Where? Where are we? Where are we nuking today? How about this drill? <sighs> okay. 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 I also had a nuke. All right. Don't worry. We'll get to you. Uh. So that one was for. That was for Chrono. Evil Pla and Petri Cottontail. Okay. Alright. One more. Two more nukes. Okay. Okay. And... That's already been removed. Someone got jump scared? I mean, yeah, normally I wouldn't expect it to crawl on my foot. Do we already nuke this? Pretty much. I guess we could start nuking, like, uh, intersections, get rid of a bunch of 
rail signals. Because the game doesn't, uh, doesn't understand that all of the rail is on different surfaces. So all of this is costing us, like, pathing UPS, basically. Yeah, let, let's make a start on those. Evil Pla, that one's for you, unless I lost count, which I probably did. So maybe a bonus nuke, maybe not. Petri Cottontail, this one's for you. Fantastic. Look at how much... That, that's every train in the game repathing every time it destroys a signal. Okay. Wow, it doesn't actually... It doesn't actually destroy that much, does it? Bruh. Rail is tough. Okay. Let's go back to the mall. He loves you. Uh-huh. Also, apparently the jump scare made me launch my other browser. Maybe that had an impact on UPS. Why is it not closing? Or maybe I just didn't hit the yes, I want to close all button earlier. Okay. Back to the mall we arrive. Looking for old builds that need to be refactored. Update me. Okay, fine. I've put this one off so many times. Nitric acid and... Have we really not updated this yet? Maybe I already built it and forgot. Probably not. Uh, so we're looking for ammonia. As both ingredient and product. Oh? Is this it? This is it. We did build it. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Just haven't deleted the old version yet. Nice. Alright, so first of all, let's just kill the requests over here. And we'll see what it runs out of first. We definitely also did a fertilizer build. I think we that was with the trees, uh, the the wood over here. So we've got wood with fertilizer recipe. Um right next to the shore. Still making biomatter. Looks like there's no shortage of it though. I think we bottleneck on biomatter if we're spamming fertilizer though. Which there isn't that much of. I know we had a bit of a run on fertilizer because there was that train traffic jam, but I'm beginning to wonder if this is a problem. We could very easily put some crud nines in there. Not that I have that many right now, but... It's such an easy fix, potentially. Rather than rebuilding something or making a copy. We do have this fertilizer supporting all of these. 21 point... Okay. The fertilizer... If it's being made at max rate is massively positive. For the block. But what about the actual... 
Yeah, we're bottlenecked on biomatter by a small amount. I bet if we increase the productivity... Yeah, all of a sudden we're positive on biomatter as well, if we don't change anything else. And presumably if we put speed 9s in all of these, uh, it would still be favorable, maybe. Well, it should be, because this, these are all going to be getting faster. And this will get... This will get a bit faster, these will all get a bit faster, and then some... Should still be positive. Yeah, so we should be accumulating biomatter at all times now. How much fertil uh, fertilizer is this? 20 per second. Last hour... Consumption has some peaks. 1.5k per minute. At the moment we're producing it at like 1.2, 1 1.3k per minute. So it seems like we do need to uh, crank this up a little bit. If not make a second build. Probably a second build would be more economical considering our modules at the moment, but I'm trying to cut back on stuff that puts more work on us down the road. Why are we not making speed modules? Speed modules. Uh, speed threes? Oh, they're made right here. We did have an imus. Oh, that's right. I remember from yesterday. The bots weren't keeping up with the trains dropping stuff off over here. And that was causing problems. Uh, I don't want to have to redesign this block again. It really is just because of the travel distance for these solids. Hmm. And the bots are all, like, prioritizing the request chests instead of getting everything out of these active providers first into the storage. It's kind of a problem. Could I simply move the station? I, I could. It's a little bit tacky, but... That, that is a thing we could do. I'd, I'd need to move this uh, signal receiver, though. Okay. Alright, if that's all it takes, I could live with that. So we need to... basically move this station down here. Might be a little easier if we do some of it in person. Fertilizer's already saturated over here. Nice. And it's getting made a bit faster. Cool, cool, cool. Did someone clip it? I certainly hope not. Alright. So... I don't really need the... And we should be able to fit this here. 
construction train is actually in range. I don't really mind the light oil being where it is. I guess we could just keep that. This is already switched off, right? Yeah. So we could just remove all the solids requests from this one. Uh, I'm just going to change that to say light oil. Light oil. I mean, we could move this down here as well, but there's no need. Just remove the light oil from this one, and we're going to want to turn these all into active providers. And the bots should move them for us. It's a bit tacky, I know, but I don't want to spend too much time on something like this at the moment. And we won't switch on the requests here until... Uh, until we've moved these items, because we don't want to have to query the robot network for them. That might take a little while. Why don't we give them a hand? There's no construction bots in here? There are, actually. But the construction train's going to interfere. Also, I guess we don't need this up here. That should be fine. Well, we do for the moment. Alright, I guess we'll just grab things one at a time. Red circuits. Uh. Oh no, did I forget to copy the... Mm. I forgot to copy the storage chests as they were. Okay, I guess... Put this over here, but these are going to be storage chests. Get rid of the pipes. And we need some built. That doesn't look right. It is actually. Okay. So what things do we already have? Three chests for each. We've got the two crystalline thingies. Batteries and small electrics. Vulcanite block and crinite rod. So everything on the bottom row, basically. Alright. Green circuit. Red circuit, and blue, and the rest is electronic circuit, glass, and copper plate. A uh, component, rather. Glass, plate, okay, so I'm hoping I'm hoping once we've moved this stuff, the bots will be able to keep up a lot better. Otherwise, we might actually have to redesign it properly. Uh, that kind of works. I 
guess I can shift C down here. That's one way to do it. Is shift C going to put stuff into filtered storage chests? I wonder. Oh, also this is in the wrong place. So that's a no. Batteries. That should be getting close to the end. Cool. Now we can get rid of this. Whoa, don't step on it. Morning, Ian Noah. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where the heck did these green wires just go? Can I please stop running onto the track? Because I think I'm in editor mode. Or, like, navsat mode. I guess we don't need the bulk rail at all here, actually. No, don't deliver any more yet. Okay, cool. And why don't we just put a huge storage tank over here. Pump that over there. That's not going to have room for a pump. Yes, it is. And that won't reach. So I guess we'll have a needlessly large storage. Okay. Make sure we connect that until it's done. And we can switch this back on now. Alright, and we should be able to switch this on without causing 600 train deliveries. And look at that, the bots have caught up. Well, I guess we gave them a hand. Now what's the problem? Electronic components. I could have sworn we had those down here. Also, why are the bots hovering? Why are there a million construction bots in... Was that part of the problem? You're joking. So 50 Logi bots probably should have been able to keep up with all that. But most of them were just hovering somewhere. Because these tiny, frickin' only 150 robot Roboports were preventing them from landing. Still have Vulcanite blocks on you. I do. Among other things. Right, so now we should get a taste of how fast the bots should actually be with this. More like that, but they would have had to travel a bit further to put the Immersite Crystal over here. Okay. Why did I even... You know, I should have just added a bunch of storage chests over here and added even more stuff to this train stop for the solids. I think I only put this over here because I was like just copy pasting the old uh, modules up to three train drop off to be lazy. Why is there another hundred construction bots in here? How do they keep getting getting put in here? Well, regardless, that should probably get our modules flowing again. Oh. 
the alternative is crafting combinator shenanigans with a uh, giant manufactory. Well, that's going to take a while before we really see results. Is this finished pumping already? Basically, yes. Fantastic. Alright. Back to the mall. It's a very short trip. Spaceships are doing okay. Already. It's actually quite good and surprising. Yeah, antimatter's looking pretty good now. Um, yeah, there it is. We do have the antimatter resupply downstairs happening. Cool, cool, cool. It doesn't have to be five seconds. Oh, this is LTN. Never mind. Can't actually change that. Right then, what's next? Good question. What is this T for? Temporary? Because we needed to rush aeroframe bulkheads? Maybe? Science hasn't moved. We're missing Singularity tech cards. Oh, that's right. Where's our ship? I didn't take it off yet. No, 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 no. Please, no meteors. Oh, God. I couldn't take it if that had happened again. How many Arcos do we have again? 45. So at least 11... Well, no, it's 44. Um, 11 recipes. 44 more Arco Spheres to add to the system. Hurry up, bots. They are really taking their sweet time. No wonder I forgot about this. And there's the medias disturbingly close by. Maybe I should put some media point defenses on here. Can we do them on spaceship floors? We can. It's better than nothing if we just squeeze in a few, I guess. I don't really have a good spot to put them. Well, I mean, literally two of them is better than nothing, right? Then we have to manufacture them. I don't think that's going to be difficult. I mean, I could squeeze them in right where the door is. Feels kind of awkward. I'm just going to do it. Just a little bit more. And we can get out of here. Fantastic. Not a single Arcosphere was lost that day. 
I don't think we've got full automation to take the Arcospheres back from the mall. Okay, I'm not seeing as many fluid. Oh, wait, never mind. Scratch that. Hagen Orbit is still playing catch up. There's only like five deliveries it says there's not enough trains for. For Hagen Orbit, so. It's probably catching up. No train to transport solids. That doesn't sound right. Oh, yes it does, judging by this uh, depot. Yeah, we we have a lot of train activity right now. Looks like they're barely ever stopping. But if this hasn't even reached five seconds, then probably don't have enough trains. Wow. Okay, I guess we're making some more trains then. This time it's actually regular LTN cargo wagons. And we might end up finding we don't have enough. How have you still not... This is why. What? I th think something's wrong with, like, the cargo wagons. Like, some of these might be the weird cargo wagons that don't stack with other cargo wagons. Yeah, it's because it's cause they've got items in them. I don't remember decommissioning a construction train or anything. But those two are, like, tainted now, though. They won't stack with anything else, even though we removed the items. I'm just going to get rid of them. So that's why we haven't been making uh, space cargo wagons this whole time. Ravna. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Uh, we're still not making charged packs here fast enough. Unfortunately, this can't be sped up. Crafting speed one, crafting speed one. Yeah, no. So I guess we just have to spam more of these. Because we're going to need a few more trains. How much are they trying to make? Uh, there's no limit, right? 300 in the mall. That's not that much. Considering 60 fits in a locomotive. Did you place the entire life support structure in the end? Place the entire life support structure in the end. What do you mean? I'm not following. Alright, so you're ready to go. And you're pretty kind of sort of ready to go, but you don't have any charged packs. Uh, I hope we don't end up with any trains out of fuel. Some of the requesters here don't have charged packs. We didn't double this as soon as we should have. 
we used to have super overkill charging stations, but I thought it was a bit of a waste. Alright, I, I guess I can... It'll go to the nearest one, which should have plenty of charge packs. That's fine. I could even steal some of these for making the new trains. Let's make a couple more. And... Off you go. It's good to see the batteries can charge even while the train is has a destination. There we go. Fantastic. And off you go. Adventure awaits. Cool, cool, cool. What's going on here? Uh, what is going on here? I guess a train went past here? Maybe it still had like a... Request for... Yeah, maybe, maybe it still had a request for... It, this is full. Why do you still have a robot request? No, bad. Robot request for the fuel, that is. The charge packs. Bruh. Get out of here. Razor, Razor, Razor. The train still didn't pick this stuff up. Let's go do that. This time we're parking for more than five seconds. The yellow life support thing you deleted earlier and couldn't replace. Oh, the, uh, what is it called again? It's not life support, it's shelter. It's literally just called shelter. There's another one of those trains here somewhere. Mm. Oh, found you. Hopefully that's the last one. There might be another one or two. Okay, how's our traffic down here, for example? Looks all right. Yeah, I think... We in a lot of these cases, we don't actually need two trains to bring up the items for one of these schedules. It's just that there ends up being a backlog after too many LTN trains are requested here at the same time. Okay. I actually picked it up this time. Just give me all this back. Except no bots, please. Um, and let's head over and deconstruct more of this. And we may as well make a station from mineral water. I think we need a specific pump jack for that which is probably not still in our requests. Mineral water pump jack. I'm sure 20 will be enough. Fantastic. Construction train. There's a bit of traffic around here. It is right next to the space elevator. I guess parking here should be pretty harmless. Um, but before the construction train gets here, 
Let's start picking up all this stuff. And I guess dropping it into the next door block randomly. I might keep that to put a station over there, actually. And... trash in the trash. It's a lot of stuff. Alright, we don't need the special floor. Construction train's probably going to get jammed. We're going to want to get rid of all of this. Actually, probably all of this for the moment. And that should be all of them. How much is here? 8.5 million. That'll last dozens of minutes. I'm not going to use prod nines on these. Not that particularly desperate to make the most of this. It's just that we go through so much of it, we may as well. I just realized, though, that most of where we consume the uh, mineral water, we're now making directly out of matter. Which we've run out of? Uh, I did not consider that possibility. There's loads of matter over here. Hmm. Is it too late to... Kind of is. If I didn't have this direct belt here, we could maybe make this also a mineral water drop-off as like a secondary source. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's the problem. We're not mattering right now. We're really not mattering right now. Last 50 hours production is 29k per minute. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not that. Okay, actually, what's our max rate of consuming the matter with these blocks? 420 per second. 25k per minute. So we'd be pouring all of our matter into this, basically. Yikes. Didn't realize it was that extreme. Um... I mean, we kind of already were pouring tons of matter into mineral water, though. But that said, we should probably make it so that we can consume the regular mineral water. I mean, yeah, right now we're turning mineral water into matter at a, at a bad ratio. We're losing half of it by turning matter into mineral water and then mineral water into matter. And that's not counting the cost of basic matter stabilizers. So we really should have mineral water drop-off as well for this. <sighs> that kind of sucks. Well, there are certain resources that are much better for turning into matter, but like... Why are we not doing that right now? 
we are. It's just not full enough. Too much demand for the raw imacite. We used to be swimming in this stuff just all the time. I mean, we kind of are, but we can't take it for granted as a source of matter right now. It. We'll finish this job right here first, though. May as well. Pumps. Right about here, perhaps. Super fast pickup. And what would be the neatest spot for the pipes here? Probably something a little bit like that. Oh, that actually rotates like that. Why is the construction train not building? Oh. That makes sense. Let's get a beacon 2 in here. Uh, you're in the way. Awkward. I guess we'll put it here. And a small beacon over here. We should have a bunch of tier 6 modules. Twenty kilowatt. Two eighty kilowatt. It's like triple power consumption. But that seems fine. Then again the pipes are gonna be overwhelmed. Regardless. Have some speeds and efficiencies. Not sure what the ratio is actually. Plus 480. Minus 80. So four efficiencies. That's fine. Now then, where's the one with the pipes? Good to go. Hmm. 
looks okay. And yeah, we're definitely pipe bottlenecked. But, uh, I mean, it's filling up very quickly. Standard pickup. Station name. Mineral water. Short trains or long trains. I cannot which. And there we go. What is this green chest? What? Wait, what? Where are you taking the mineral water? Oh, I should have clicked on the temp stop. Yeah, because we didn't name this station right. So we're immediately scrapping it to make matter at 50% rate. Um, and let's go and add some mineral water, direct mineral water drop-offs. As much as the train traffic to keep up with mineral water only over there is pretty brutal. The panic? One pump jack not rotated? What do you mean? Or did I already fix it? One online, welcome in. Anatolian, welcome in. I think you got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this. Um, like it takes such ludicrous throughput of trains to support this with mineral water directly. Uh, not to mention the amount of mineral water we're getting from core frags and stuff. But it takes ludicrous amounts of matter as well. All for lithium chloride, all for uh, vitamin lunge. God. Even when we think we've got a handle on it, bioscience just doesn't let go. Everything is about trying to trying to make bioscience. The, the material inputs for bioscience keep up. Alright, so since we don't really have room for it anywhere else, I'm going to put this here. I think. And... Where am I looking? I'm going to need a pump over here somewhere. That's actually super awkward. Maybe do it like this. That doesn't work on the other side. Because didn't we build it this way because it's consuming ridiculous amounts of... ...mineral water? Like it's hard to pump it that fast? I hate it. I was so happy with this build as well. I mean, it was pretty good. Um, that'll do, I guess. The train stops in the way otherwise. Oh, we didn't pump into this one either. Hmm. Just 
just like that. No, the train stops in the way. This stuff's in the way if we do that. May as well just connect that one there. Then we still need... Well, this won't be a problem. Still need belts to find their way over here for direct belting. What a mess. I hate it. Like, if we're going to build this properly to prioritize the consumption of regular mineral water, we would be limiting the output of uh, mineral water from matter. So that there's always room to drop off the mineral water and have it get consumed first. Okay, can we do something similar over here? More than likely. I just hope this stuff's not going to be in the way. Should be fine. Game to relax. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Upgrade name and base to gold. Don't mind if we do. I guess there's no harm in connecting these. Alright. Is that on the floor or upstairs? Game to relax. There it is. Fantastic. Wunderbar. Bottom right, indeed. Welcome in. Enjoy your gold name. Okay, uh, so now we just need to make these hybrid stations. Why? How are you here, though? Just go. Uh, provide stack threshold 100. And request threshold 60k. And we're looking for mineral water. And that's basically it. Mineral water, request a... Uh, uh, lithium chloride provider. Here comes the mineral water. And don't forget to fix the belts on this side. I just hope the amount of matter we're creating ramps up a bit as we get more spaceships in motion again and stuff. But I have a feeling we might already have all of our spaceships in motion or close to it.
Well, what's our current rate compared to before? Matter production. Oh, wow. It's about as high as it's ever been. And pretty consistent. 20 to 30k per minute. And this alone is capable of consuming 25. So hopefully with the uh, mineral water being dropped off here directly, that'll make the difference. I just hope we're not going to have too much train traffic. As a result. Also, maybe I should make it so that... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um... These are all set to encoded network ID 2. Uh, that complicates things. I was gonna set it up with the encoded network IDs, the virtual train networks, so that the matter that's dropped off here is never sourced from turning mineral water into matter. If I put this on its own network... Uh, What is this set to? It isn't. Why are they set on encoded network ID 2? I don't remember. What other matter consumers do we have? Our new build, this build, and this one. None of these have encoded network IDs. Hmm, so we haven't actually used that yet. Oh, I think it was literally just so that we're not taking... Like, mineral water from... Yeah, like we're doing over here, because I forgot to change that. When we have a finite source that we don't want to just dump into matter. Or deletion. Uh, we put it on encoded network ID 1. So... Where else can we pick up matter from, though? Like, this isn't both a provider and a requester. I'd basically have to put this one on its own network. I guess I could put it to three. No, three is one and two, right? It needs to be, uh... Binary one... One plus two plus four... Yeah, so four... Is its own network, because this is in binary. So if we, put, if we put this one on encoded network ID 4, it's still on a different network from this pickup, for example. The default is that it's connected to all networks. And then over here we set this to encoded network ID 2. So we're allowed to collect stuff from from train stops that don't have an encoded network ID, or that include binary 2 in this number. So all of the other, uh, all of the other sources of matter. 
all of the other matter pickups. We should be able to get matter from those to turn into mineral water. No, th this one's encoded network ID 1. What? I'm so confused. Why? Why did we have different encoded network IDs? For those... These are all standardized to encoded network ID 1. Oh no. So I think I see why. These are all... These are all one, so that we don't... And these are two, so that we don't pick up, for example, a uh, Holmanite from this provider and then put it in this drop-off, which just goes back here. I think that's the only reason. But why did we make these encoded network ID two? Mm. Oh, 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 it's got to have something to do with this, right? So this is encoded network ID 1. Yeah, 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 that'd be it. So basically that has to be different. So we're not taking mineral water, for example. To turn it back into... Matter and looping indefinitely. I'm sure that's why it was there, but if all of these are set to one, like why, for example, where's the one where we turn copper into matter? Encoded network ID one. Copper ore. Oh, the requester is encoded network ID 2. Okay. If the requester is 2... Well, this is the requester. Yeah, with fluids we don't have to do the multiple stations like that. What? Hold on, what? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Oh, this one doesn't offer up oil. This requests oil. Why do we have two stations that request oil here? What? Were we just copying the template that we had before and didn't think it through? Probably. I feel like this part should just be deleted. And we don't have to worry about using an encoded network ID to prevent trains from delivering from this station to this station, because that's obviously just not an issue. But what we want... Yeah, I, I'm sure we don't need these stations. Much confusion. Are these the only fluid ones? I think they are. Because there's only two fluids that we can turn matter into. Or at least only two that we're using. Me too. Oh, the name and base. Jerg, welcome in. F J O E R G. Uh, right about here, perhaps. Fantastic. Okay. Let's see. So we don't have to worry about the encoded network ID so it doesn't, like, deliver to itself. In any case, those two had the same ID. Not sure what that was accomplishing. Um, these are encoded network ID 2 so that we don't loop 
the products back and forth with the matter to end uh, matter to mineral water to matter to mineral water. It just has to be different from this one, which is set to one. We don't. Uh. So yeah, we just set this to encoded network ID one, right? So that we can't take matter from here to turn back into mineral water. Cool. And we should probably prioritize a little bit mineral water being delivered here as opposed to using matter. Okay, that is my voice getting a little bit hoarse. So I think it's about time for a break. More than time for a break, actually. Let's do some words. Let's save the game. Doesn't take as long as it used to. LTN screensaver go. Words on stream is still loading. Maybe it won't be ready today. I guess we'll check in that on that a little bit later. All right. I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll start the words on stream when and if it loads. Get a break, get a snack, rehydrate, and we'll continue with SE. See you soon.
Okay, let's continue, shall we? What was the words? And I decided to slap in a little prioritization system. So we only use the matter as a last resort, more or less. Uh, I just need to find a couple of connection points to piggyback these wires across. That'll have to do. Make sure the inserters are none for mode of operation, unconditional, and this is also unconditional. Um, and we're just going to say mineral water has to be uh, less than, I don't know, a thousand, or even like five hundred. And same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. And connect this like so. Oh, also this belt should be unconditional. By the way, the reason the science alert sometimes doesn't show up is because Factoria only shows one custom alert at a time. Only one custom alert at a time? Hmm. If we could ever get our alerts down to zero, we could try that. Oh. So, I think... I think our spaceship has come back. I have a hunch. Yeah. We need some... regular media defenses. I think I'll just do this as a one-off. Media point defense. Because we're not going to be using these for anything else. Uh, and we'll need some ammo consistently, though. Uh, I guess I should just do this here. Ammo. Media point defense ammo. We'll get the first few of these done this way, though. Insert a bottleneck is fine by me. And last one. Okay. Um, now we should already have everything we need, yep, to make the ammo and media point defenses in the green box. So we don't need to change anything else. And we just need to make some request chests for ammo. Uh, may as well fill it up, I suppose. Since we have limited amounts for the moment, let's just calm down a little bit. Okay. Should we make it rapid charge? Max consumption, 2 megawatt, 10 gigawatt. Damn. This is only like 2 gigawatt right here. Min consumption... 500 kilowatt, 250 kilowatt. Don't tell me quick charge mode uses less minimum power. That would be weird. They're currently charging with 8 megawatt. Two each. They charge like a percent per second or so. But they can charge up four times. Oh, 
How fast is this making the ammo? It's got an insert of bottlenecked. That's fine, I suppose. We should probably save up more than one shot. Although this thing does overshoot because we only update the recipes every like 34 seconds or something. So what's, what are the odds? Actually, what's the radius of, of these things? Yeah, definitely not good enough for the, the entire array of Arcosphere collector launches. But it should at least protect the ship while it's parked. Did you know Tubular Bells is now 50 years old? Tubular Bells? The reason the science alert... Oh, right, I read that, sorry. Okay. Um, we should probably pick up these Arcospheres. Why don't we just do it this way? Oops. Since we don't have to do this very often. And we'll just get this to do a temp schedule. Why are you not... Huh. I think it's trying to put stuff into the bulk rail unloader as opposed to the cargo wagon. No? What? Um... Give it a little reset? Why are we not putting things in the cargo wagon? What? I, I mean, I guess I could just go up there, but... This kind of defeats the purpose of the build where we don't need ten times as many trains bringing fluid. Alright, this one's bringing excess matter, I suppose. Bruh. Anyway. Yeah, I don't understand how... I don't understand how we're not putting stuff in the train here. Okay, that's weird. It does put it in the train, I think. No? Disable... Rail loader. It is just putting it straight in the bulk rail unloader. But why doesn't it put it in the cargo wagon if we do this? That's weird. That's very weird. I mean, look at this. This works over here. I'm, I'm just going to go up there. Very strange. Uh, I went past the teleporter, didn't I? Here we go. Why, why can't I go through the elevator? Where are we going? What is the train's condition? Uh, well, 
whether I put it on manual or not, it's just... Oh, it says destination full. What? I put it on manual before. And, and that didn't happen. Bruh. Whatever. No. I, I did not mean to do that. Well, we're here now. We may as well just shove it straight in there. Razor, frazzle, razzle. Uh, so let's go... I think it's over here. Yep. Wait till empty, and then come back to the mall. So confusing, right? Yeah, since we're not even getting 50 stacks of Arco Spheres, I figure it's better to just move them manually for the moment. Alright, I meant to delete these while the bots are using them. Uh, we've got loads of construction bots, and for some reason way too many logistic bots. In this particular RoboPort, it seems like it heard me. And do we already have? We do. Let's go and get even more Arcospheres. I have a feeling we're going to need them. So I'm pretty sure we've been here for Arcospheres. Let's have a look at Reapy Hollow. Just double check we haven't been there. We have not. Uh, Creepy Hollow's address is... Asteroid Field 1135. Asteroid Field... 1135. And direct destination... is Foenestra. And we should probably... I'm sure it's super overkill, but I'd rather uncap the, uh, the requests for the point defense ammo here. There is no overkill, there is only open fire, and I need to reload. Also, we do need some Logibots for this. I, I think they're packed in here anyway. All right, let's go. Fantastic. Welcome to the chat room. We didn't drop out, did we? I'm thinking everywhere, all at once, Arcospheres. No. No everywhere, all at once, Arcospheres. Have you unlocked the mini beacons from K2 yet? Yes. They are limited. Uh, are they limited by the one beacon rule? They... I'm pretty sure all of the beacons are. Beacon 2? Uh, grab a machine of some sort. Give it... Oh, I don't even need to give it power. You can see it's got beacon sickness. Beacon overload. Yeah, no beacon spam. Look at this spaceship that we didn't build. Get out of here. Beacon sickness? Yeah. When you have when you have too many beacon it makes you makes you get dizzy and nauseous. Okay. Uh so did we get our new Arcospheres? Oh, I see the bots moving. Will it be enough to actually stabilize to the point where it keeps moving though? Because we've got so, so many Arcospheres just sitting in inputs. These machines here are particularly egregious offenders. Look at that. 16, 19, 24 Arcospheres just sitting idle. And 
we've only got two types in reserve at the moment. But yeah, theoretically this block can keep up with our endgame goals with higher tier beacons. Or maybe even without. Two point six per second. I have a feeling it's gonna crash again. That we're gonna need more arcospheres to make it run indefinitely. Not get jammed with all these arcospheres and the inputs. That said, why are there so many arcospheres in the purple chests? There's hardly any... There's like 45, 43 bots sitting idle right now. But we've got like a bunch of Arcosphere Zetas in the purple chest. Oh. I see. Um. Why is it not trying to balance those? We should be shoveling Zetas... Because there's no C here. I think we should probably... I think I talked about this before. We should probably turn all of the other request chests green. So that they're lower priority. I don't know if they're lower priority if you... Don't set it to take from green chests. We'll do that anyway, but... Yeah, that might actually be... We might not actually need any more Arcospheres. I mean, we're going to have a bit of a headache trying to get them started again at the moment. But I feel like if we simply prioritize the rebalancer over the uh, consumers, that's probably all it takes to actually get this block to work. Wait a sec. Remember when we had all those composite recipes that would turn like with a couple of catalysts they would basically turn two zetas into two something or other else's lambda and omega were opposites it was like where where's my arcosphere blueprint book Good question. Uh, really good question. Where the heck are my arcospheres? They weren't all the way back up to the top level, right? They should have been in the K2SE book. Surely not under here. Where could it be? Did I put it under LCL, LCCL train blocks out of habit? I feel like I should be able to recognize it very quickly. Basic block, Arcospheres, Lamel. Here it is. I feel like this should be up here somewhere. Right next to spaceships. How's that? Yeah, here we go. Zeta can be swapped with Omega? I thought it was Lambda and Omega. 
Lambda with phi, C with epsilon, zeta with omega, theta with gamma. And I thought we found that if we don't have these, uh, the system does get backed up like this at some point with just too many of one or two types of arcospheres. I hope we're not going to have to squeeze these in now. That would be most unfortunate. Uh, apparently we came back. Oh no, I didn't send the train there yet. Rooked, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can't you limit the inserted a stack size of one for the Arcos? They only stack to one, so that doesn't actually change anything. But the machines... Yeah, uh, there's no way to read without using counters to just keep track of it. Uh, there's no way to read from the machines and know how many are in the actual inputs, and they always take way more than they need. It's very irritating, especially with Arcospheres. Honestly, much prefer that compared to the extreme beacon spam I end up doing in my first K2 run. Got really silly. Yeah, I really hate the, uh, the vanilla beacons. Wait, why are the bots already moving again? What do we do? We didn't steal any Arcos. Yeah, I want to check something. Um, let's do a little robot network. If I can find it. And this little robot network had something in it. Uh, and we're going to put Request a chest and buffer chest equal distances apart. Make it two by two. Just so we can absolutely say that they're same the same distance apart. Okay. Power. 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 Uh, and just one Logibot. And we're going to request passive providers. And we're going to request passive providers. And we're not going to say request from buffer chests. It does prioritize it. Good to know. Good to know. Um, so now we've got the rebalancer prioritized all the time. Just by changing those to buffer chests. And shockingly, it seems like that might have been all it took to get this thing working again. I, I actually don't know how, because it should have at least been moving slowly otherwise. I always select that mod, if not on SE. Beacon sick people, there's a mod that uh, most knows putting it. Wait, what? For beacon sick people, there is mod that. For well, that most know, but putting it here for people who still stamp beacons everywhere. So there's a mod to just have the beacon sickness. Yeah, I, I really don't like the. Uh, the patterns that spammable beacons push you into uh, in vanilla. I think they look absolutely hideous and they're not that interesting to try and build around it. Okay, well if this is all it takes to, to make this work again, I'm... Frankly, I don't understand why, but I'll take it. How many bots are in motion right now? About half. Do I have any Logibots? Here we go. 
Perfect 50. You can go. Single beacon mod like SE that helps avoiding beacons uh, spam. Don't remember the name. Okay, that's fine. Das ist gut. Well, it's a little... Oh, it's definitely speeding up. I, I know this recipe is slow, though. I was going to say it's a little slow for the moment, but it seems to be getting better. Oh yeah, the Zetas are the Zetas are running out. We should start seeing a balance in the storage quite soon. That's fantastic. How is our Arco ship? It's already there. Cool, cool, cool. So what are the odds of it shooting something down? Oh, I wanted to check. Two megawatt. Really? 500 kilowatt times 4. So if, I think it's R, try to rotate it and it'll put it on the quick charge mode. Yep. Unfortunately, it apparently has to quick charge all over again. Does quick charge only let you charge up one shot though? Wow, that... They're not lying when they say quick charge though, damn. Look at that. Just, just yoinked it right out of the accumulator. Um. Yeah, I think the ones that are on quick charge actually do drain less power when they're sitting idle, weirdly enough. Energy capacity, 200 megajoules, 800 megajoules. So does it take 800 megajoules for one shot? I imagine that's regardless of mode, because it looks like you can charge up four shots if it's in slow charge mode, but not if it's in quick charge mode. I don't imagine if meteors are coming and you're in quick charge mode, you can get multiple shots out of the one media point defense, right? So... So presumably we're probably better off with this. Oh? It already had two shots charged. It looks like. Whatever. We know now. I'm not gonna fuss about um, the power. I don't care about the power. It, it's so small compared to everything else. Just curious. Alright, we'll come back and check this out. In a few minutes. Cannot be placed here. Why not? Oh, we haven't anchored yet. <laughs> I didn't realize. Wait, why are you trying to take off? Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, it's not trying to take off. It keeps reevaluating the, the validity of the ship. Right then. Um, can we please get our bots back inside? Okay. Mag canisters must be coming from here. Alright. Anchor to Creepy Hollow. Where can we park? I mean, technically we can park anywhere. I just kind of prefer not to build on top of asteroids. Well, not asteroids. Wrong turn. This is very dense. I guess here is fine. 
Alright. We're still encroaching on this rock over here. Yeah, I never actually tried building space platform plating in one of those surfaces that just exist for the spaceships in transit. Why do you need media defense on a ship? Because sometimes, when we're packing stuff up and not looking, the arcospheres get destroyed by medias, and we cry, and cry, and cry, and cry some more. And a fat man in a red shirt with a minigun laughs at us. Okay. It looks like we're steadily getting more... Oh. The robots can't keep up. What would be the chance for that? Uh, high enough, apparently. The robots can't keep up now. <sighs> Is... There's no more... There's no more speed updates, are there? Or is it infinite? It is infinite. Okay. Infinite robot speed research. Go. I'm actually a little surprised that that is actually infinite. Worker robot speed plus 60%. Is it going to be enough? I'm sure it'll be enough eventually. Oh, each step is plus 60% from base, but it gets exponentially more expensive. This one's still less than a million. Alright, let's go. More robot speed, more robot speed. And we don't need our Singularity tech cards to research it at the moment either. Or ever. Never's good. Cool, cool, cool. In that case, I really don't particularly want to... We're not going to bottleneck on recharging the bots, are we? Well, as they get faster, they won't have to recharge as much, strangely enough. They, uh, they drain energy at a fixed rate while they're flying, regardless of how fast they fly, and their acceleration is infinite. Why are you still hovering here? Okay. So we should eventually get to the point where the 50 Logibots here can keep up with all the Arcos. That's fine. I'm really quite surprised just changing the uh, chests from blue to green, except for these ones. Somehow got everything started again. Alright, back to the mall we go. I think you're probably right about the... The custom alerts maybe only show one. Because I haven't seen... I haven't seen the system reporting... Signal collision or launching a spaceship all day. And those have been happening quite a lot, if the ships have been in motion at all. Does the Arcospheres destroyed appear in the kill statistics? Uh, it wouldn't be kills. It would be consumption, is that what you mean? Production and consumption of Arcospheres. They count as being produced or consumed when they get swapped for type. Line trending upwards, but I think it's gonna I think it's gonna level out 
you know, around here on average, uh, until bot speed goes up, and then it's going to step up a bit, and that's just going to keep happening until we reach a critical mass where we're no longer bottlenecked on the bots here. Cool, cool. What's next? What is next? Why are these inserters out of sync? Because this only makes one at a time. That makes sense. Was there a out of fuel signal here just now? Also, it seems like we caught up with LTN. That's good. I guess it's not surprising. Um, we'll either see a, uh, like pages and pages of notifications of not enough trains or zero. Probably change this system so we're not using these vanilla scheduled trains that keep going to the same train stop for the antimatter. Wait, we do have train limits on these. Oh, this one doesn't have a train limit. That's why. I can go do that myself. We don't need a train for that. Uh, one minute away. We should already have them. It's fine. And we want to go over this way. The ones you lost to meteors. Oh, right, true. That makes sense. I don't know if um. No. I think they'd have to be buildings or bots or something. Yeah, I don't think items inside of containers will get measured that way. We could probably prove it. There we go. How about... You go over here, and you're still going to try and park in here, huh? Even though the train limit is zero. What? And why are you not moving? Is this, does this have a different tr uh, train stop name? No? No, we literally just copy-pasted it. What? Destination full. Oh, they're all empty. Why would we set train limit to zero until there's 100k if the provide threshold for LTN is 60k? Seems a little strange. Uh, if anything, we should set the provider threshold for LTN higher than uh, vanilla schedule because. Because a train limit will stop an LTN train from doing anything, but an LTN provide threshold won't do anything to a vanilla schedule. And there's no way to invert it, as far as I can think of. Are we still making antimatter here? Oh boy. What happened to all our particle stream? It was here a minute ago. Oh no. We've got Plasma Stream. 71k, there's already a train coming. 45k, so apparently that's not keeping up. 
43k. Have, have we simply shifted the bottleneck? Well, no. I'm pretty sure... Okay, that one's 1 1.75 thousand per second. And this is 2k per second. Or even more if there's not demand for uh, ion stream. Wait, did I misread that? 2k per second. 1.75k per second. Okay. The inputs are saturated. Okay, this one isn't. There's not enough lithium now. The problem is not chemical gel anymore. Alright. Lithium, what are you doing? How's... how's things? Tier 3 modules. Uh, except for tier 6s in the wide beacons. That's how's things, apparently. I think this is our only lithium build. Theo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Lithium... product. We've got two blocks that I think are exactly... Well, this uses old beacons as well. Uh, I don't know if we wanted to keep this one or not. But I have a feeling we can't really do better than the shape of this if I copy-pasted it before. Let's revisit it real quick before we uh, make changes. Alright, delete all of that. Green wire. Uh, uno momento, por favor. And go. Green wire for the, what, antimatter? Oh. That's not actually a problem. It was just a, like an extra connection. Yeah, no, that's fine. Just wanted to check the SIG data. Yeah, no, that's good. Fantastic. All right. Um. So there's no other way to make lithium except this machine, right? I don't think there's an advanced machine for it. Nope. Electrolysis plant. Lithium chloride in, water out. I mean, water in, lithium and chlorine out. Alright. And what if we have maxed out modules? I'm... I would hope, I would imagine, this is too many machines. And beacon two. On a guy. We need like... Two prod nines means seven efficiency modules. Okay, so how fast is this? Certainly not going to be red belt speed, I imagine. Or it could be red belt speed. That's actually super slow. 41 lithium chloride in per second for the entire half block. Everything we can fit under one beacon. Blue belts would be sufficient for the absolute end game build. Uh, 58 lithium per second. How much are we making right now? How much? Okay, how much would we need if these are our only consumers of lithium? 40 per second. If it if it was going full speed all the time. 
We also need it to make electronic components. There's a lot of those. Lithium sulfur batteries. Proton stream. Okay. Well, it's going to change, but let's assume, as we often do, that the last 50 hours times 2 or so is a decent indication. 1.8k per minute uh, is 30 per second. Okay, so presumably uh, 40, 50, 60 per second maybe even up to 100 per second lithium should be enough for the entire playthrough. So one block with maxed out modules. But we don't have that many prod nines to throw around so casually. We could certainly throw around the blues and greens a bit more casually. But we need 128 prod nines. Uh, if we were to do our hopefully final build... 20? 38. I don't think we're going to be committing to prod 9s just yet. Um, is this really the best we can do for the shape? Well, we can always just grab it again if the answer's no. Let's try and do better somehow. Only one solid in is kind of convenient. Oh, wow, old power poles. Wasn't expecting that. Aziz Light, Ragamuffin, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright. And maybe we'll reshape that if we're going this far. Now how do we fit the maximum number of electrolysis plants? under a beacon. Oh. One off. Is there a universe where we tighten this up a little bit and get more out of it? Maybe not. Could maybe move the uh, pylon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh... Well, we could fit more under one beacon if we don't stick to the half block. Philosophy. We need input output for one solid from each. Uh, one solid in, one solid out, one fluid in, one fluid out for, for all the machines, though. Hmm. I don't. I don't think it's getting much better. How many tiles is that? Five. Well, we can't do it like this because there's no solid IO. We need at least... At least two tiles between these two. That's assuming that we can fit some squiggly belts 
and still do the fluids. Which might be a bit of a tall order. I don't see how that's going to happen either. Symmetry with the block next to it instead of with itself. With the block next to it. Okay, if we... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we would have to do solid in and solid out on one side. If one of the sides does the fluids like this as well. Uh, we may as well do the input with the input. So if we were to have... Let's pretend for a second that we could somehow fit... The fluid I.O. The, the fluid out and the solid out. Within two tiles like this. Might be able to do that. Might look exactly like this. Uh, except there's no loader on this side, is there? GG. WP. Alright, I guess... I guess it's got to be one tile further apart. Pretty sure. Uh, and then it should be pretty straightforward from there. Don't even need the undergrounds. Don't snap to absolute. Why would why would you ever want that to be the default, I wonder? Okay. Uh and when, if we assume we'd need at least three tiles between on this side as well. Probably the exact same kind of... No, we need splitters. Or we could use inserters. For the input side like this. What's the individual rate for these things? With maxed out modules. Really, really slow. And it's only one solid going in, so the inserters... The inserters will be fine. Uh, let's do these in pairs, like I often like to do. Just makes them a little bit easier to count. Although, it does make it a lot harder. Oh no. Well, we can... We can just have the water come in from this side as well. There's not much water throughput or anything else for that matter. 416 per second. The entire thing so far. So I guess we'll just do this kind of pattern. Underground. And like so. Uh, so that'll fit. And then, for the sake of consistency, I suppose. But I don't mind having a loader to spit this out. Uh, loaders in general. Okay. That goes there. Should be able to fit beacon somewhere like this. Uh, 
Oh, we don't have to be as careful on this side. There's no beacon to worry about. Okay, but we can't fit another column under the beacon over here if we do that. It's not out of the question to... Split these apart a little bit more vertically. So that the beacon... Well, hold on. We'd only be gaining, like, one asymmetrical tile. Right? Like this. So maybe we couldn't even get another machine to fit under the beacon on one side like that. And it's not like I want to use a whole... Uh, how many is this again? Uh, 32 machines. It's quite a few. Tihon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess we'll just have to settle for 32 machines under a beacon. Also, it doesn't reach down here now if we try and do something like that. So, at this rate, it's not worth changing the last version at all. Except for putting modules in it. And bigger inserters. Assuming we even need those. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Actually, I need to go back to the mall for a sec. I'd stay here and watch T-Hacks play all day long, but then someone has to make spaghetti. <laughs> Indeed. doop a doop We finished Worker Robot Speed 15. Very good. So Arcosphere production should get... Uh, Arcosphere swapping and use should get that little bit faster now. That reminds me. That, re that reminds me? There we go. Oh. I forgot. The prod modules are still in this block over here. We have 38. I'm more concerned about the speed than the productivity bonuses. How fast is this recharge? Pretty quick. Are you winning, son? Somewhat. Seeing walnuts. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Welcome back, Bochaza. Um, Arcosphere. Line should have... Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I think we can see the lines going up a little bit. It could just be, like, the variance, though. Give it a bit more time now that the bots are faster. We haven't stopped doing science, and it still says 0% since the last research. Alright, let's head downstairs and go and improve lithium. Yo -yo. Um, lithium build... This must be lithium build number two, I feel like. Because we haven't put some nice floor over here, still.
crimes against uh, beautification, I guess. Let's get rid of the old power poles. And find room for... I guess I'll put this in my pocket so the train doesn't take it. Find room for the pylon sub. I don't suppose I have any more of these on hand. I do not. Is there already no room for these bots? What, what were you doing with a single assembly machine 3 still? Did I forget to remove that from yesterday? I did. Okay. That shadow looks weird. Alright, regardless, uh, let's put in some better modules here. Not speeds. Electro... Where is it? Oh, is this it? Electrolysis plant. There we go. And we might want a beacon two or two. Uh, and we need to figure out the ratio. Because it's only two prod modules. We could have crafting speed 7.3 for 59.5 megawatt each. Whoops. Alternatively, still plus 180%. We could have 500 kilowatt each for 4.5 crafting speed per machine. Hmm, tough choice. 12 speed modules. 8 efficiencies. Now, are the red belts still fast enough, I wonder? Probably. A little bit of blue belt here for some reason. It's probably just the length of the undergrounds. So the whole thing spits out on each half block. 36 lithium per second, which is significantly less than a blue belt. Although we're bottlenecking it through here for some reason. Sure. Anyway, let's make the... I was going to say, let's make the blue belts purple. There we go. And I haven't had to do this before, but let's make the red belts purple. Oops. Bots are probably going to get stuck again. Me all those stupid belts. Oh, we don't have enough prods. Could you please do another lap? Ran out of purple belt as well. And always got to watch out for this. Uh, somehow or other, when we do belt upgrades, old belt can end up on the new belt sometimes. Very, very strange. Where's our train? 
back at base. Also, we don't need to be carrying... Where is it? I don't see it anywhere. It was like four thermo facilities or something that the construction train was carrying. Well, I guess we'll just not worry about that. Box of Stark again. Why do you have rail in this side? Yeah, four thermo facilities. What are you doing? Shouldn't this have automatically removed them? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, is that everything? I see a random red loader. It's always loaders now that I think about it. It must be when you... Yeah, that, otherwise you'd see that in uh, vanilla. And it'd get fixed. I'm pretty sure it's always loaders when they get upgraded. They sometimes get dropped on the belt. Hopefully we got them all. Nope, that is a loader. It obviously doesn't hurt as much if there's a random loader on the input belt. But if we chuck them in the train system, that's a bit more problematic. Alright. Looks like we're good. And I definitely want to give the same treatment to the other build. Looks like even... I'm pretty sure even with tier 9s, we wouldn't have to worry about any bottlenecks here. Okay. Okay. Let's head over and upgrade the other lithium block. Hopefully, that'll be enough to shift our bottleneck once more. Oh, yuck, I don't like this. That's an improvement we can easily make. Put the huge storage tank right here. And that way the two pumps uh, can pump directly from the huge tank to the train. It'll load it much faster. Alright, we need some higher tier bacon. We need to remove old power poles. We need to find find it in our hearts to place pylon sub. And upgrade everything to purple belt. Where did I put it? That's not the kind of purple belt I meant. Where did our upgrade planner go? What? I'm... I'm confused. I should have a blueprint book for upgrade planners by now. It's never really occurred to me that that would be a thing. Oh, it's in my... I somehow put it in the Navsat uh, inventory. I guess that's not that surprising. Now I'll put it back. Help the bots not to be too confused. 
Why do we have plating in the train? Uh, and we don't want to forget... I'm going to shift this down here. That's not what I meant. And you bloody well knew it. That way we can put the pumps here. Huge storage here. That's weird. I could have sworn... Nope, that's fine. Okay. Hello, train, my old friend. Um, let's pump all this stuff into... the new container. And we're going to have to move... Where the heck is this going? That's a mistake. Well, clearly these are connected properly somewhere because... Yeah, up here. Because otherwise we wouldn't see motion over this way. Don't forget your Arcos. Forget my Arcos. How would I be forgetting my Arcos? Um... So yeah, we just want to move this over here. I think we already need to send the train back for more purple belt. Uh, take some of my trash. Oh, that ship, right. Thank you. This is why I added the uh, media point defenses. Alright, spaceship. Arcos, etc. Get some defenses up. So hopefully this time it won't somehow launch one of these prematurely. I know the reason that that happens has to do with the wires not being connected yet, but... Like, even if there's a... Even if there's a rocket silo or two that's already doing the first recipe. I guess we just wait till all of them get the first recipe done. Right? Thought that's what we did last time and then one of them launched. Well, whatever. We'll come back and check on it. Those blue belts. I wish we could have the... I, I love the construction trains. I just wish we could have, like, uh, trash slots in the cargo wagons. God, that would make it so much easier. The individual cargo wagons could have trash slots for... Hmm. I was going to say everything that's not currently requested to be in that specific cargo wagon. So then if you end up with split stacks with, like... 99 pipe to ground uh, in this cargo wagon and one in here, it could sort itself out. The only trouble I see with that is if we're changing what we're putting in the train with combinators, then we also have to go and change the the trash. The auto trash for the train, that is. It'd be nice if you could set auto trash via combinators. Although... I can't really see why you would need to do that with the game as is. 
Alright, let's go back for a sec. And... Empty out the train, empty out our pockets, come back with more... Purple belts. And we need to fix any random loaders that are on the belts and stuff like that. Oh, also, I thought we put the beacons here. Might want to just empty the train just once. Make sure everything's nice and reset. And things I don't need to be carrying right now. Lots. There was a misclick in there, but then I thought, nope, don't need it right now. a bit better. Why do we have scaffolding? Plating I remember, but why scaffolding? That'll do for now. Why am I carrying... Oh, I... Wow, I've been carrying these a while. Random multicolored deep space belts. Whatever, into the mall with you. Get out of here. Onward. Oh, you're still getting loaded. Sure. Let's check on our ship. I see... Round numbers of... Arcosphere launch, uh, collectors... Space probe rockets and... Ready to launch rocket silos. Fantastic. Volume down. And go. And realize that I'm still muted. Oops. Hope I wasn't sneezing into the microphone this time. Alright, get rid of this mess. Bonk, indeed. And... Still some purple belt missing, seriously. I guess it is a lot of belt, and we don't carry too, too much of it. Alright, one more lap. Also, I didn't see any... Oh, here we go. Didn't see any loaders that got stuck on the belts, I was going to say. Apparently they just hadn't gone far enough. Let me in. Don't see any in the train stop, though. Lorraine Lama, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Thanks for the shout-out, of course. Thanks, Velda. Mama Lama, indeed. Oh. 
Oh, is that how we ended up picking up a random piece of floor? Because I, like, double-tapped decon planner or something. Sure. We've got prod sixes and all these things now. And more importantly, much higher tier speed modules. Actually, it's not that much higher. We already had the uh, tier six speed modules in here, but we had a beacon, a uh, tier one beacon. I could give it... We've got like 70 efficiency nines and 32, 12. 24, 48. I can't afford to speed 9 the whole thing yet. Let's hope this is enough. Oh, 73 times 2. Yeah, it should be. It, it should be enough for the whole playthrough. Did you change the storage tank on the other block? Not yet. Not yet. All right, hopefully we got all the random loaders that get stuck on belts. Let's head over to the other block once more. And hopefully, maybe even already, our bottleneck of lithium for these blocks has disappeared. And then we can have antimatter again, again. And therefore all the other resources, because spaceships. Uh, where's our thing where we bring up the lithium? Here it is. We do only have one train bringing up the lithium. Um, if we're bringing up, like, What's it stacked to? 50. If we need to bring up like a stack per second, that's like a train every 100 seconds. That may be a little bit sketch. I like the Factorio train style, but it's nice to have some variety, of course. Those trains are lovely? Yeah, I like them. I also like what they're uh, capable of. Especially if you cram... Uh, vehicle equipment into them. Advanced additional electric engines. They accelerate faster. Um, the top speed doesn't go up, I don't think, but they accelerate faster. And some of the energy from acceleration, I think, comes from here instead of the fuel. So the fuel goes faster. Uh, it goes further, I th think. I can't remember. There might have been an experiment that uh, threw that off. And we need this over here. Uh, and we need this. Why does this keep disappearing? Give it back. This over here. Uh, and I guess we can just delete that already. Red trains would go faster. But the locomotives are red and they they don't go faster. We still have one. It's just super convenient to refuel it. This very specialized little train right here. With the solid fuel that we've got handy. I did actually put uh, some equipment in it so it'll go a bit faster. 50, 100, 300, 400% more acceleration. Oh, you can, uh, you can customize the colors on these, but you can barely see, uh, the different colors on them, unfortunately. It's a bit faster because it's red, <laughs> but I was comparing it to the same locomotive without, yeah. No. Is this is this finished? Are we done here? I think so. Oh, 
Oh, the only reason we have the two train stops is because we used to do vanilla schedule and LTN pickup. Right. So we, we actually don't need these stations anymore. Um, the whole block does like a stack and a half per second. If anything, I just should have done separate stations for the for the chlorine and for the uh, lithium. Oops. Whatever. I'm not going to spend too much time on it right this second. We're just going to do it like this. Hundred and sixty stacks before a train comes might be a little excessive. Oh, it's got high priority because the chlorine is a uh, is a byproduct. That's why this doesn't need high priority. Okay, so same. Carry on. Oh. How convenient. In that case... Oh, let me... Conscript you to do this as well. Die faster? Red shirt in Star Trek always die. Oh no. Live fast, die, red shirt. Oops, whatever. There we go. That'll load the chlorine way faster. So I don't really care that two train, uh, trains are coming here for two things. How's our lithium chloride look? Wow, much better. So, oh, I see. This has a gargantuan input buffer for the matter. Like, literally, almost a hundred uh, recipes worth of matter can just sit in the input here, even while this pump is disabled because we've got some mineral water that we want to consume as a pri higher priority than the matter. You see. So if we drop below whatever threshold I set it to, um, 500 mineral water up here, it'll, it'll pump like, I don't know, a thousand, fifteen hundred 1500 fluid per second. And then we'll have like, uh, what was it, 800-ish? About 80 recipes worth of, about 8k mineral water that will come out of this. Okay, but it is working, despite appearances. Cool, cool, cool. What's next? Back to the mall. Actually, I should have double checked for... No, we already did this before. Got the random uh, loaders off the belt. Fantastic. Back to the mall we go. Why do I have spaceship parts here? Why do I have a lot of things? Okay, moving on. 
Arcosphere launcher. Are we done yet? 200 Arcosphere collectors remain. Plus the ones that must be in here. So we've got five sets of 50 launchers left to go. We've already picked up 35 Arcospheres. That seems maybe a little bit more promising than usual. Then again, there's diminishing returns at both the individual locations and globally. Nice timing. And launch. With the slow-mo not matching the sound effect. Fantastic, though. What a beautiful sight. There's the sound I was waiting for. Better launch than SpaceX. Uh, thank, thank you, I think. All right. What's next? Where's our current bottleneck? Oh, research is happening. No, we've stopped. We did get another 2% at some point. Uh, what are we missing right now? I don't think we need Singularity Tech Card for this research, right? Matter, Deep, and Energy. Uh, Deep 3 is missing. So what's happening with Deep 3? Soup? Oh no. No path. Somehow we removed this piece of rail. Um, that was not, not the problem I was expecting, I will admit. Uh, I didn't think we had saboteurs in the factory, but apparently we do. Yeah, if, if, if it was actually a shortage of supercooled thermofluid, I'd be terrified right now. But we do have a train trying to deliver it as we speak. I know, I know. KSP indeed, all, go all goals reached. All for new science uh, points was launch and separate. KSP IRL, indeed. Welcome in, Kellogg's. Hope you're doing well. My friend's doing some crazy KSP uh, challenges at the moment. Something like... Get into space with nothing but uh, nuclear engines. Which, spoiler alert, they pulled off with propellers. Like, pr propellers that were turned by nuclear engines. Uh, and the next one is ion engines, apparently. I don't know how that's... I don't know how that could be possible. <laughs> Alright, so there's our fluid. And science go burr. And if we're not going to fudge the uh, provide threshold, it's going to take a while. Well, this whole thing is 77,000. Uh, what is it? 10,000? Yeah, 10,000 per short train load, uh, which gets multiplied by like 2.7 or something as prod bonuses. So it's not going to make an overall difference if we like force a delivery early. 
may as well just let it run. But since we checked on science and the bottleneck was something stupid like that, I'm not sure where to look for the next problem. So why don't we go and continue deconstructing this old mess? I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Are we still nuking? Of course. Sure. Welcome in. Uh, welcome to nukes, Kellogg. Kellogg's. How about this? Just splash sulfuric acid all over the place. Fantastic. Oh, there's more ghosts over here. Speaking of ghosts, the uh, we do have a copy of this uh, on the new planet, or newer planet, on our main base. But sadly, our, our nameplates did get hit by meteors. Sorry, Bilbo. You're actually... There's only three names that got completely wiped out. Majagus, Jamort, Bilbo... Uh... Lol... Lolio? And Vodj... Vodjtikrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrkrk
Oops. A rope of construction bots. Can't fit all of this. Uh, I guess I'll just go dump it over here. We're very close to the mall. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. And furthermore, beep. Tier 2 assembly machines. How nostalgic. Actually, it's more like archaeology. It's too far back to actually remember. Let me bu Okay. Permission granted by the point system. Bonk randomly to your heart's content. Or to the limit of the points, I suppose. Let's grab those red cards. Almost carry them all. And that's it. Oops. Speaking of which, yeah, we did get the deep space science going again, didn't we? Cool, cool, cool. Deep space four is already saturated, so we're not making that at the moment. I say saturated, it's reached the limit that we programmed in of 50 stacks. What are we missing here? Naquim Tesseract, that's not too surprising. Uh, Arcospheres are still not entirely jammed, so I guess I'm okay with that. We're still launching Arcospheres? No, I think that was the last of them just now. Nice timing. Just saw those closing. Cool, cool, cool. Let's pack it up. And pack up the floor. And we'll come back when they've finished that, because bots be slow. Even when there's 500 of them. I wish they could pick up more than one piece of floor each. They can place like four each, so why not pick up four? That'd be much better. Alright. I already moved all the red cards, apparently. Nice. So long, and thanks for all the data cards. Original... Wait, no, 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 no. That was the wrong... That was the wrong planner. Original Hagen red data card build. Thank you for your service. And don't forget... Just place that in here. This will sort itself out. It's fine. Actually, uh, if we use loaders here, it'll effectively prioritize consuming uh, what's coming from this container, just because the inserters... Actually, I'm not so sure about what I was about to say. So the thought was, if we use loaders here, It'll have priority over and above the inserters because, kind of like what we do with the Naquium, uh, where these spit out blue and red beads as byproducts, which are the opposite color from what they need as inputs. 
Uh, we send the beads directly to the other machine with a belt. And this will absolutely saturate the input as much as it can. Uh, whereas the inserter will wait till we're down to some amount of red beads, for example, before it picks up anything off the belt. Yeah, that should still work the same way, I think. Nice little bit of implicit priority. Uh, speaking of... How close are we to getting rid of some of these other old builds? Ooh, much closer than I thought. Looks like we can just pick this up. Very good. Might just chunk, uh, chuck down another big uh, container. Much easier to clean this up and remember to do that. As opposed to leaving a train stop there. Plenty of room. Are we still live? Are we still live? Apparently. Uh, it's just about time to finish the stream anyway. And the power went out for just the briefest moment, but luckily I've got a UPS. The router does not have a UPS, so I'm really surprised we're still online. But yeah, it's about time to finish anyway, and the stream might cut out at any moment. So let's find someone to raid. I don't think it will. I've seen this happen before here, and uh, it, it, it's not like a precursor to actually having a blackout or something, but... Still kind of caught my attention. All right, who are we raiding today? Diablo's probably trying to wrap up. We raided him not that long ago. There's a whole lot of very small streamers. A Deutsch playing uh, Factorio. I think we raided him the other, uh, like, last week or something. Speaks some English, but it's, like, difficult for him. Anyone else doing SE? Oh, here we go. Fuxus. Oh, that's also uh, German. Raid a small streamer? Sure. I mean, I was about to raid this this one, but that's not actually SEK2. I will preference that. Nihonjin, Deutsch. Every, everyone playing SEK, SE and or K2 is uh, speaking another language right now. Okay. I'll pick someone more or less randomly. Oh, that's... Nope, that's not English. I was going to say, that's obviously K2. Hmm. This is a smorgasbord of languages other than English. Factorio, the third restart. Okay, so somewhat new player, but obviously getting in deep. Should we drop in on one online? It's been ages, but we've raided them a few times. Is cannon fodder doing water block? Cannon fodder. Cannon fodder. Maybe I need to refresh.
Victoria, any percent speed run? I don't see cannon fodder. All right, let's have a look at this one. Tell me you've got decent mic quality or whatnot. Currently reach. Okay, okay. All right, that seems fine. Do you want to boss? Okay. Just raid tumbles. I uh, picked someone. All right. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Data Gnome, Veldak, Ian Noah, Core NXT. Thanks for dropping by. Lorraine Lama, good to see you again. Solovix. Everyone else, including all you lovely lurkers. Stay safe till next time. Oh, okay, found a